أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهتي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسل لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي um, جزاكم الله خير um, to everybody for joining today الحمد لله um, I'm really excited for today's session where we're inshallah going to learn about Allah's beautiful name Allah um, for those of you that have joined me on this um, challenge, um, subhanAllah, I'm overwhelmed and blown away by the keenness and the enthusiasm for everybody to learn about um, Allah's names and attributes. So may Allah accept this all from us. We're all students. We're all keen and inshallah um, with good intention to learn and gain closeness to Allah. For those of you who uh, don't know me, my name is Dr. Amina. Um, I'm a GP. I'm also a well-being practitioner. Um, I've trained as a coach with the Happy Home Academy and iLife Coaching, and I've trained as a well-being practitioner with Wisdom and Wellbeing Consultancy. Um, I do currently still practice as a GP part-time, and uh, alhamdulillah, blessed to have a family with three children, alhamdulillah. Now, Ustada is um, uh, uh, my current teacher, alhamdulillah, and she was born in Alexandria, Egypt, and we're so blessed to have her today. She went to primary school in Saudi Arabia at age five and studied there until she finished high school with, subhanAllah, 97.9%, one of the top 10 high school graduates in the country. MashaAllah, tabarakAllah. She studied Quran memorization, tafsir, tawheed, fiqh, hadith, and tajweed, and later gained her ijaza of teaching the Holy Quran. Um, Ustada also, um, uh, sorry, so uh, Ustada also studied Arabic language, grammar, and literature, in addition to several academic subjects. And after high school, she gained her chemical engineering degree in Alexandria University in Egypt. Subhanallah, not only uh, did she do all that, but she continued, mashallah, further studies of Java programming, NLP, and sign language. She is also self studied in personal development and coaching. Professionally, she worked as a teacher in Faculty of Education in Alexandria and worked as the principal of an international school in Egypt. She later was an Arabic language coordinator in a university in Lisbon until July 2015. She is currently teaching Quran, Tafsir, an Arabic language and coaching online all the way from Portugal, mashallah. And she has her own beautiful small family. And we are so blessed and grateful to you for joining us today. So less, enough from me, I'll hand it over to you, Ustada. MashaAllah, Jazakallah khaira, my sister, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi, wa man tabi'ahu bihuda ila yumuddin, amma ba'd. Jazakallah khaira, you're so kind to me. Uh, my, my sister, Dr. Amina, and all the sisters that joined us today, may Allah accept from us all. Um, if we are in actual uh, halaqa, I would say come together and be close to each other. Don't let shaitan be between you. Um, remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, has malaika, angels. They look for majalis al-dhikr. This is what they are. When they find the majlis or a place where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioned, they stop and they fill between that place to the to the samai dunya to the first sky and they listen and then when the gathering is done they go to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks them and he knows the best what was happening what what what's going on so he asked them um, from where you come from 
so they would say, from uh, a gathering from your worshippers. In the earth, they yusabbihunaka, they say, subhanallah, yukabbirunaka, they say, Allahu Akbar, yuhalilunaka, they say, la ilaha illallah, yahmadunaka, they say, alhamdulillah, wa yasalunaka, and they ask you. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ask them what they ask me. They said, yasalunaka jannataka, they ask for your jannah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, and did they see it? They say no. And then they say, like they seek help with you and they seek refuge with you or, or in you. And he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, well, What is it that they seek refuge in me from? He says, from the hellfire. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked them, And have they seen it? Did they see it? And they say no. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to them قَدْ غَفَرْتُ لَهُمْ I have forgiven them and I have given them what they asked you see and then they say and there was someone passing by and he's not from them but he just he or she stepped by uh, so he said subhanahu wa ta'ala هُمُ الْقَوْمُ لَا يُشْقَى جَلِيسُهُمْ just because this person passing around he would get the reward just like all of them so I ask you and with me to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala each one individual Allahumma inna nas'aluka al-jannata wa ma qurraba ilayha min qawlin wa amal wa na'udhu bika min al-nawa wa ma qurraba ilayha min qawlin wa amal and today's subject as announced that my doctor, my sister Dr. Amina um, spoke earlier about Allah's most beautiful name Allah so what does Allah mean? So Allah's name, in order for you to, to see it and to understand it, I would, am I allowed to share a screen, my sister? No. Okay. Thank you, Jazakallah Khairan. Are you able to share your screen, Ustada? I'm trying. Yeah, no, I can't. I can't. You can't. Sorry. This is it. It says that you disabled. Okay. Um. It's okay. Then I will. I will ask my sister then to open Surah Taha with me. If you can open Surah Taha in your Mushabs. <laughs> From there, you can see something, mashallah, amazing, and you will uh, take it little by little. So, Surah Taha, you have it. Surah number 20 in Al Quran Al Kareem. Good, I'll start with. What ayah, Ustada? Yeah, I'll start with Qawr Allah Ta'ala. Ar-Rahmanu ala al-Arashi Stawa, verse 5. But I'll carry on for a few verses. So Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala said, He is Ar-Rahman, above the throne He established Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala Himself. لَهُ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا وَمَا تَحْتَ الثَّرَى For him belong what's in the heavens and what's in the earth and what's between them and what's under the earth, like under the dirt. All belong to him. And if you would speak out loud, تَجْهَرْ بِالْقَوْلِ فَإِنَّهُ يَعْلَمُ السِّرَّ وَأَخْفَى He knows the secret saying that you don't, what you don't say and even what's more hidden than that. And then he said, subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allahu, Allah, la ilaha illa huwa, no God worthy of worshipping except he. To him belongs al-asma'u al-husna, the most beautiful names. 
But carry on with me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Prophet Muhammad sallam asking him a question. Wahal ataka hadith Musa? Did the story of Musa reach you? Or the narration of Musa reach you? إِذْ رَأَى نَارًا فَقَالَ لِأَهْلِهِمْ فَزُورٍ Musa alayhi salam was traveling and he saw from far away, it was night, it was cold, he saw from far away a fire. So he said to his family, wait here for me, أُمْكُسُوا إِنِّي آنَسْتُ نَارًا لَعَلِّي آتِيكُمْ مِنْهَا بِقَبَسٍ أَوْ أَجِدُ عَلَى النَّارِ هُدَى Maybe I will find someone to lend me a qabas from the fire, like fire, to, to, to get the warmth and the light, or someone would guide me there where to go. Then when he arrived, now please pay close attention. When he arrived there at the fire that he think he thought it was a fire, Nu dia ya Musa. He was called. O Musa. See, he's there alone. He left his family behind. He went alone, thinking there were people with fire there. He arrived there, then he, he heard himself, his name being called. O oh, Musa, Ya Musa, Innani ana rabbuka. Indeed, I am your Lord. He's listening to that. alayka. So take off your shoes. Innaka bil wadi muqaddasi tuwa. You are in the sacred valley of tuwa. And then, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Wa ana khtaratuka fistami alima yuha. And I have chosen you, so listen. To what's going to be revealed. Then he said, Innani an Allah. Can you read it with me? All together, right? Verse 14 in Surah Taha. Surah number 20. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaking to Musa alayhi salam directly, saying, Innani an Allah. Indeed, I am Allah. So, first thing you know about Allah's name, Allah, it's his name. Like, for example, you have a first name. Your name is Sophia, Fatima. His name is Allah. You see? So, how do we translate the name? I tell you, it's the name of, of Him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. We may try to understand what it relates to, but it's His name. All the rest of the names and attributes are all about this name. Allah's most beautiful name, Allah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is how he spoke directly to Musa alayhi salam when he said, Innani ana Allah la ilaha illa ana fa'abudni. So worship me. Wa aqim salata li dhikri. And establish the prayer to remember me. First, so what is, Jazakallah khair, my sister, it's here now. I am Allah. This is what it says. So what does Allah mean? It's Allah's name. So what is the relation then between Allah and the word? Because you hear that all the time. Isn't Allah the Arabic word of God? And respectfully would say, no, it's not. God is not a name. Allah is. And to, to add to that for you, if you're already taking notes, I hope you are. Let's look at how Arabs use the word God in their language. First, there is a verb from that word, which is the verb Allah. So I will guide you through to write it. If you write it in Arabic, it means a lot. Then if you write it in English, but if you don't have a, a way to write it, in Arabic, then you write it in English as well. So it's alif with hamza on top, with fatha, a, and then lam. The alif and lam don't attach to each other. Lam with fatha, and then ha with fatha. Alaha. Alaha means to worship. This is how Arabs used uh, this verb. Alaha. And as well, it means to love so much to the degree of worship as well. 
So if someone loves someone so, so much, they say, Alahahu. And maybe the context is not about worshiping, but they want to say he would do anything for him or for her. So how Arabs use the verb alaha to worship, yes, or to love someone so much that you would do anything for them to the degree of worship. So that's the verb alaha. They use as well the word ilah. Ilah means God. So it is not Allah that means literally what means God. It's the word ilah. So al-ilah, the God. So ilah, it's what someone would devote themselves to worship. So now when it comes to Allah's name, we say it's Allah's name. That all the rest of the names and his names and attributes is about. To tell us who is he, what are his actions, what are his attributes. If you can say it relates relates to the verb alaha in Arabic, and now you know how it's used, and relates to the noun ila, which means a god, or al ila, which means the god. Is Allah al ila? Yes, he is. He is al ila. But what his name? Allah. Do you see? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, no, please ask questions. I think the questions will go to my sister. But I expect questions because when you ask, it's a sign that you're engaged, you're listening, or prove that you understood, please. Are you getting feedback, my sister? Just waiting for feedback. So sisters, if that's not clear, please put it in the chat box or raise your hand if you have any questions. So one of the sisters is saying, sorry, Ustada, I disabled the chat publicly just so people could really focus and concentrate. I understand. So um, one sister is saying, SubhanAllah, that was really eye-opening. Um, another sister is saying it's clear. Is there anything that's not clear that you'd like the Ustada to um, go over again or explain? Please come forward um, now is your chance to really get crystal clear understanding uh, of this um, you know wonderful name of Allah it's really important that we get it clear um, one question is please could you clarify the root of the verb alif lam ha okay this is the verb this is the root and the verb the verb alif and lam and ha is called alaha if you put fatha, fatha, fatha on all the letters, that is the root. So alif, lam, ha, we call that the root of the verb alaha. You see, alaha means to worship or to love so much. So therefore, when you think about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he, when he spoke to Musa alayhi salam directly, he said, I am Allah. This is his name, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And does it mean to worship him? Yes, it's inside the name, the worship. Does it mean to love him? Yes, it's inside the name, to love him. Does it mean that he is the only one? Yes, it does. So you see this name, amazing name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his, his beautiful name. And... Um, I would like my sister, can you please uh, find for us verse number 65 in Surat Maryam? In Surah? In surah, surah number 19 and verse 65. 19 and verse? 65. 65. So just um, one, one more question, Ustada. Sorry, Suraya, your sister Suraya, you low, uh, raised your hand. Did you... Want to ask a question? I've just, I'm trying to unmute you. Did you have a question, Sister Thraya? Assalamu alaikum. What's your question? Um, first of all, um, I'm trying to understand exactly what you're saying. So basically, it's um, 
Allah, he is God, but it also formulates um, as his own name, basically. I've been, um, the problem is I've heard so many different names and I'm a bit ashamed actually to say that I've never, um, how do you say, um, paid attention in the sense that Allah is also a name. For me, it has always just been Allah is God. It, it's the same. Um, and now I'm hearing, I saw, when I saw Allah today, I was like, I was not expecting that name actually from all the names. I just basically thought it was, it, yeah, it is absolutely. so me. So that's why I'm a, a, maybe in that sense confused, but I do understand what you're saying, but I don't know how to um, set them apart at the moment, if you understand yeah. what I mean. Okay, stay with, me. Understand. stay with me. Is that okay? My yes. sister? Okay. So, um, it's not that it's formulated in his name. It is his name. As, as you said, all the rest of the names that you learned is about Allah. It's about this name of his, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, this name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioned in the Quran more than 2,700 times. You won't find any other name mentioned in this number. The, the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah, you cannot divide it into meanings. What I'm trying to show you, what the scholar said about verbs or words that relate to the name. So the verb alaha, the Arabs used it even before Islam to tell this one, this person loves this one so much. They would actually use alahahu or alihahu, means he loved him so much or he loved her so much, you see? Yes. But when you hear that, it means they love them so much, they can do anything for them. Like if they just give them one word, that's an order. So that is alaha and al ilah, which means they got. So that's in Arabic, alaha, to worship or to love so much, or al ilah, the God. Now, Allah is the name of the God. Hmm. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay. So I just have to think that all the other um, names which have a specific meaning, like our first one, El Awal. Uh, the first, for, uh, foremost, that has one name, but the name like Allah is so huge, it's, um, it's not him, able it's to put it's into him. one meaning. So it means everything together as one, but that's just his name. Ah, am I, ah, am I saying all the rest, All the rest of the names, to tell yes. you more about Allah. All the rest of the names. He is al awwal he is al ghafoor he is al akhir he is al shakur he is Al-Rahman. To, to, to let you know more about him, about who? The God, al ilah What's the name of the God? Allah. Allah. Okay. And the verb that you're using now, Alehu, what uh, the Alehu. Uh, Arabs use, Aleha, sorry. It's okay. I pronounce it, it's not so good. Um, Aleha. So using uh, that name, basically using the verb uh, to love. Um, love is a so grand you can't uh, explain love it just is what it is so i just see it for being that it just is what it is um as in that is just his name and the rest explains how he is as a person or not not as a person wrong word but um as himself of him as himself is that correct okay so to, using the verb alaha which means to love that was before islam now when you say alaha that someone, Allah has someone, that is wrong. Before Islam, they used to use it like that. That's why I was, uh, I made sure to say before Islam, this is the, the verb exists. If you say Allah and only you mean Allah, that's fine. But if you say Allah from a person to person, that's wrong because no one would Allah anyone unless they out of Allah commit shirk or something like this. So this is how the verb is used to worship or to love so much before Islam. So now, when we hear Al Ila, the God, Al Ila, means the God. But what is the name of the God? Allah. What are the attributes of the God? He is Ar Rahman, the most merciful. He is Al Kareem, the most honorable and gracious. He is Al Ghafoor, he is the most forgiven. You see? Yes. I understand. Jazakallah khair. Jazakallah khair. Yes. 
Inshallah. Uh, my let's... sister, you said you, there was another question, but I could not. No, answer. let's continue, Stada, and then we'll take the questions uh, uh, as uh, a bit later. Uh, what I, what I'll try, of course, all respect, but what I'm trying to do is I can't move to the next point if this point is not settled. Okay. So so if the question relates to what we just uh, said, I, I ask you please to tell me. The question was, Ustada, so to clarify the intrinsic meaning of Allah and uh, I think it's Alif La, Lam, uh, Alaha. Alif Alaha, yes. Uh, I think, again, please. So, yeah. Okay, so do you, do you want a clarification about Alaha? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Or Illa. So, Zaybun, did you want to just cl clarify your question by unmuting yourself? No. So I think it's illa, she said, she said. No, illa, I think she ilah. means illa. Okay, so there are two words. Okay, first, uh, clarify your notes if you haven't yet. So, alaha, it's a verb. What does it mean to love some so much? To worship. Ila is a noun. God. Ila, alif with the hamza and kisra. Lam. And then Lam with Fatha and then Ha. Ila. God. Are there many gods out there? Don't tell me no, because I can hear you. <laughs> I don't hear you, but I am expecting you to say. Yes, there are gods. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called them what? Aliha. If you hear this word in the Quran, Aliha. Many gods. People can take any god, like they take the sun to be a god or the moon to be a god. It's false gods, but they take them as gods and they worship them and they vote themselves to them. So these are called aliha in the Quran. So the, ver the word ila can be collective into aliha. Good. So now this is alaha, the verb, ila, the noun, the collective name from ila, aliha. There are so many aliha out there. But there are only one ilah, al ilah, that is worthy of worshipping. The only one worthy of worshipping. What is his name? Allah. So now, when you say Allah, what does it mean? It means the one I worship. It means the one I love. And it means as well, the only one. Why? Because of this verse, my sister brought it up for, for us. He is the Lord of the heavens and the earth. Actually, it's the skies and the earth. Samawat means skies. The earth. And between them. So worship him. And patient yourself to worship him. And then look at this last bit. Do you know of anyone it doesn't say, oh, the translation is a little bit not, not explaining the, the verse. Can you include another translation, my sister, together with this one? The last bit, هَلْ تَعْلَمُ لَهُ السَّمِيَّ means, do you know anyone else that has his name? Do you know anyone else that called himself Allah? This is the question. Now, I'm expecting you all to say, no. No one dare to call themselves Allah. But are there other ilah out there? Aliha, false ones? Yes, there are. Are there only one worthy of worshipping? Yes, there is. It's al ilah. What's his name? Allah. Is that clear? So, do you know of any similarity to him? No, it's his name. Because Samiya, this word Samiya means name uh, the next one there is has no partner to him no they don't they don't my i'm sorry they don't mention the word samia you want they which one would you like hmm. sorry uh, which one would you like me to bring up no 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 i'm i'm oh. I'm, I'm not i'm not asking for anyone in particular i'm just okay. saying as as i can see that they're they, they're not them translating the word samia which means ism or name. Oh, okay, here is one. Here is one I can see. 
Jazakallah Khairan. Can you just scroll up a little bit so we can see? Yeah. So, in Yusuf Ali, same name as he. This is the bit I was looking for. So now, can you read it for us, my sister? So, pick the Lord of the heavens and the earth, or we said Lord, and all that is between them. Therefore, worship thou him, and be thou steadfast in his service. Knowest thou one that can be named along with him? Asante Bikta, or and as well, Yusuf Ali said the same. Okay, Lord, any yeah. who is worthy of the next name, name as he. So no one, you 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 will never find any other being that called himself Allah. And if anyone dare to do that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take them on the spot because they challenge him. You see? No one is there with the name Allah. But is someone there with the name Kareem? We don't call them Al-Kareem, but we call them Kareem in Arabic, generous. Yes, you find generous. But who is the most generous? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you see what? All the names is to answer your questions about Allah. Is to give you more about Allah. Sorry, is there a question for me? <laughs> no, sorry, sisters. Just kindly remember to mute, keep yourselves muted. Okay. Right. Now the next point about Allah's name, and before we we say something like more about Allah's name, Allah, how many names of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala are there? Please answer to my sister if you know already how many names and attributes are there for Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So people are saying uh, 99, 99, one sister says infinite, 99 plus, more than 100, mm -hmm. unknown, we don't know, 99, but I know there is much, many more, more than 100, thousands I've got. <laughs> <laughs> Mashallah. So the, the right answer or answers, the ones that said infinite, infinite. or more than we could possible, possibly imagine. Subhanallah. There are not 99 names only of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There are, if you manage to learn and study and know 99 names, then you get the reward that Muhammad sallallahu promised that you go to Jannah. But are there only 99 names? No, nope. there are much more. All these names, is to, to let you know about who is Allah, uh, the one that you worship, that you love, and the only one. So when you hear Allah, what happens? There is a, what we call in Arabic, ijlal. You feel greatness. So if you happen to find uh, someone's name, Abdullah, for example, in a paper, and it's on the ground, or not respected. Pick that paper up and respect it. Allah's name is on it. So great feeling the greatness of the name, the respect for the name. If someone say to you, Ittaqillah, be conscious of Allah, that's a great one. You stop everything and just listen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, O Prophet, be conscious of Allah. So when you hear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his name being said to you, you pay attention. When you use Allah's name, pay attention as well. What does that mean? Because some people just swear or take an oath by Allah's name. Wallahi, 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 all, all the time. Whether they meant it or not. Be, pay, like, it is really a great deal. Pay attention. When you say, Alhamdulillah, pay attention. <laughs> this is his name right there, Billah. La ilaha illallah, pay attention. You see? 
So when you remember him, this is him, you are here and you embraced this faith to take you to him in a safe return, right? So how many names were already covered? Respect great of the greatness of the name is um, to, to, to be in your heart and to be in your attitude. If you're right, if, if your name happened to, to have Abdullah or your son's name or your brother's name, respect it. I mean, respect the writing of it, the mentioning of it. Don't call for this name when you're in the bathroom, for example. And don't change it. I heard some sisters, instead of saying Abdullah to their son, they say Abdulli. Don't do that. It's Allah's name. It's not for you to change. And and no, and, and no it's, it's, it can be from the British accent because it ends with Allah. I heard some sisters say Allah, her, 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 like with the R at the end. Allah's name. And I hear the R comes, which is, I know, it's from the accent there. Don't do that still. Allah name, keep it as Allah with the R, uh, with the H at the end. Or Allahu or Allahi. Don't change it to error or don't change it in any way. Show respect to it. So, so. questions. We have about eight minutes left. Did you understand what Allah's name means? Do you have a collection how many times it is in the Quran? Sisters, if you have any questions, inshallah, just raise your hand or pop them in the chat box for me. Um, let's see. So, other names are known by him alone. Is that correct? That we don't know? Yeah. Okay. So, sometimes, Muhammad sallam in the hadith, he said, Allahumma inni as'aluka bi kulli ismin huwalak. I ask you with every name you have. Muhammad sallallahu was turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a dua. And he said that. For you to understand how it works. So he said, I ask you with every name you have. You called yourself with it. Or, anzaltahu fi kitabika. Or you revealed it in your book. Or you taught it to one of your uh, khalqik. One of your creation like one of the humans one of the, your creations or you kept it with you so from this dua we understand that we are led to know some of the names of Allah SWT in the Quran you find some of them in the Sunnah you find some of them Muhammad SAW hearing them from other people and he acknowledges them which means that person was led by Allah SWT to call him with that name see and their names that no one knows and he himself alone knows them but if i ask you who is allah of course you can tell it's the name of the god that we that i worship and i love and the only one yes and you can say allah is a rahman you know who a rahman is allah you know who a rahim is allah you know who al awwal is allah see Ustada, somebody's just asking if we could have that dua repeated uh, and uh, just another time please yes in the dua muhammad sallam said allahumma inni as'aluka bi kulli ismin huwalak oh allah i ask you with every name you have sammayta bihi nafsaka you called yourself with it. أو أنزلته في كتابك or you revealed it in your book. أو علمته أحدا من خلقك or you taught it to one of your creations. أو استأثرت به في علم الغيب عندك or you kept it in the غيب only with you. 
Of course, after you say all that, there is a completion. And تجار القرآن العظيم ربي صدري ونورق البيذر. And you can ask Allah subhanahu wa taala whatever you like after that, that you guide me to the best. But make sure that what you ask after this, because you ask Allah with every name, you see, make sure what you ask is full of goodness, full of respect. Does ha doesn't have envy, doesn't have uh, resentment to someone or hatred to some. Make sure it's full of goodness. Make sure it's full of um, respect. And when you hear Allah's, Allah's name and when you hear the dua, how, your heart has to show the respect as well. I hope that makes sense. Questions, please. We have a few minutes. Um, is Ustada one question? Is there a name with which dua is guaranteed to be answered, mentioned by authentic sources? If you, if you first, if you men, uh, use the dua that you just asked me to repeat, if you use any dua and you use Allah's name sincerely, the dua is answered. The sincerity. This is some of the scholars. Uh, their conclusion is. So yes, the, uh, some some of them said the greatest name of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is Allah, and some said no, the greatest name of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is Al Hayy Al Qayyum, and some said no, it's Allah Al Hayy Al Qayyum. So and some said whether you said Allah Al Hayy Al Qayyum or but your heart is not there, that doesn't guarantee your answer. So together with mentioning the name, your sincerity has to be there, your heart has to be there fully. And again, follow the manners of the dua. So your dua has to have goodness in it. Your dua has to be polite to show respect. If you fulfill all these conditions, your dua is answered, inshallah. Add to that, not rushing your dua. Muhammad said, يُسْتَجَابُ لِأَحَدِكُمْ مَا لَمْ يَعْجَبْ One of you would have the answer as long as they don't rush. And he said as well, يُسْتَجَابُ لِأَحَدِكُمْ مَا لَمْ يَدْعُ بِإِسْمْ أَوْ خُطِيَعَةْ رَحِيمٌ One of you would be answered if they don't ask for ism, like for a harm, or a خُطِيَعَةْ رَحِيمٌ, like to cut family relations in your dua. That's why I keep saying, keep your dua pure, sincere, kind, good, with, with respect. Then you have, inshallah, the answer. And keep on it. Don't don't give up Allah's mercy. Go ahead, Sadia. Um, um, I've requested to unmute. If you'll go ahead, we've got a couple of minutes left. Cool minute. Assalamu alaikum, sister. Thank you for taking thank you for taking the time for this. Um, um I from a young age I was taught um I was quite poorly when I was younger, and I remember my uh, grandmother telling me to read Ya Salamu on my fingers um, and what, I believe that it, yes, yes, no. um, it, I, I've only started looking into um, the meanings now as an adult but as a child I always knew that it was for my health oh I see okay um, so you asking me if that's authentic or not or what what are you asking me I'm, I'm not asking if it's authentic. I, I'm trying to, because the name is Al Salam, and how did it go to Ya Salam? I'm, I'm asking if I'm reading it correctly, and other names of Allah, how do I read them? Because I remember her teaching me Ya Rahmanu as well to read, um, but when you, it's, it's Al Rahman, but how do you change other names? Um, so I don't know how to word this and uh, when you're reading them as zikr I understand so Allah's name for example as-salamu so when you want to call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you say Allahumma anta as-salamu anta as-salamu you are the salam or if you would say ya salamu um, you would have to have other names with it Yes, salam alone is not polite to call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without anta or Allahumma. You see, 
So you say, Allahumma anta. Oh Allah, anta. And then you say, Assalamu, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. If you say, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, that's, that's okay, as you said. Because Allah's name, Ar-Rahman, no one else, like just Allah's name, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, doesn't have another one to call themselves Ar-Rahman. So you could say, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. If you want to call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, say, Ya Allah. Ya Allah. Hmm, does that answer your question? Um, yes, the Ya Rahman one, yes. But I'm still a bit confused to the Ya Salam one. Why can I say Ya Rahman and not Ya Salam? Um, you can say Ya Salam if you have other names with it. Because okay, Allah's can... name is As Salam, not Salam. You see? Okay. So yeah, okay. when you say Ya Rahman Ya Rahim, that's okay. But when you say Ya Salam alone, it is not polite as you say Allahumma anta salam. Even after the prayer, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught us to say that Allahumma okay. inna ka anta salam. After the prayer, we don't say Ya Salam only, right? Yes. Okay. If I think I need to increase increase my knowledge a bit more um, to understand this um, because I've been reading that for a very long time. Ya Salam. Um, but Just, alone. All, all what you have to do is change. Anta salam. Allah anta salam. Okay. And okay. And why can you read Ya Rahmanu by itself? Because Ar Rahman, inshallah, when my sister speak with you about it, is one of Allah's names that no one else can name themselves with. Allah subhanahu wa taala's two beloved name to Him are Allah and Ar Rahman. So when you say Ya Rahman, He's the only one. It's called with this. So it is okay, okay. to say Ya Rahman or Ya Rahim. Okay. Jazakallah, sister. Waiyakum. Ustada, Jazakallah khair for your time and your knowledge. Um, Subhanallah, I think we've all gained so much and it's been really eye opening. Um, and I can't thank you enough for, for joining us today. Khair, my sister. Jazakallah khair and all. May Allah accept from all of us and guide us to the best and grant us all knowledge. Allah Amazing. So, um, did you want to uh, recite dua, Ustada, just to close this session and I'll, and I'll stop the recording, inshallah. Okay, inshallah. So, Allahumma ghafir lana zunubana. وإسرافنا في أمرنا وثبت أقدامنا ونصرنا اللهم إنك أنت السلام ومنك السلام تباركت يا الجلال والإكرام سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك